What is a galaxy? Well, I'm sure you've heard that term before and seen crazy photographs from NASA and the Hubble Space Telescope like these. But have you ever stopped and actually thought about what these things actually are? Well, let's do just that. A galaxy is really nothing more than a cluster of millions of stars that are held together in one region of space by the force of gravity between them. Now, galaxies come in all different shapes and sizes. They may contain millions of stars, and they may contain trillions of stars. They're all different and unique and found spread throughout the entire universe. One thing that's important to note is that most of what makes up a galaxy is actually empty space. There are these massive regions, and there's gases and dust and millions of stars, but also a lot of just emptiness. Now, we do classify galaxies, and we classify them based on what shape they take. And we have three main categories that we're going to focus on, and these include spiral, elliptical, and irregular galaxies. Now, spiral galaxies, like the pinwheel galaxy that you see here, has this classic spiral shape. Uh, and these tend to be younger, more active galaxies where we have active regions of star formation. As opposed to elliptical or egg-shaped galaxies, which tend to be large, a little less organized, and not quite as active. And then we have irregular galaxies, which are generally speaking the largest and also made up of mostly ancient stars that are dying out. Now, we on the Earth with the Sun in our solar system are found in a spiral galaxy, an active galaxy known as the Milky Way. Our galaxy, as I mentioned, is a spiral, and we are located out away from the center in one of the spiral arms of the galaxy. Now let's take a look at this similar photo of a different galaxy and imagine that it was our Milky Way galaxy. Our solar system and the sun, the earth, and the planets are located in, as I mentioned, one of the spiral arms well out away from the center. And we have recently learned that the center of our galaxy is a supermassive black hole, which is what remains when a giant, giant star reaches the end of its life. If you were to measure the diameter of our galaxy, it would be in the ballpark of 105,000 light years. To put that in perspective, if you were able to stand at one edge of our galaxy and shine a flashlight across the galaxy, that beam of light would take 105,000 years to travel to the other edge of our galaxy. Now, our galaxy is evolving and changing, and it's predicted that in about four and a half billion years, our galaxy will collide with a neighboring galaxy known as the Andromeda Galaxy. And when that happens, the galaxies will kind of interfere with one another and merge together to form a new galaxy. Now, while that sounds catastrophic, really the only changes that would be noticeable for us would be some of the stars and constellations in the night sky might look a little bit different as we merge with that galaxy. But remember, most of space is empty, and so we're not really in danger of any major collisions. Now, the universe, as seen in this photo taken by the James Webb Space Telescope, is massive. And in fact, every little dot in this small section of the sky is an entire galaxy. And so we're talking about billions of galaxies that make up the universe and immense amounts of empty space between them. So if we look at this, keep in mind that every point of light, bright and dim, is an entire galaxy. And we think that there are somewhere between 100 and 200 billion of them that make up the universe. And so that's a quick look at galaxies. Thanks for watching.